morning, everyone. I hope you're having a wonderful day out there. It's my fifth day in Dubai, and I'm taking the morning off of work to go check out a really old mosque here in Dubai, the Jumeirah Mosque, uh, before I have to get back to work and do some work-related stuff. So uh, let's go enjoy the morning and check out a beautiful mosque here in Dubai. built in 1979 and is a staple tour for those visiting Dubai. It's voted one of the best cultural tours in Dubai. The mosque was built in the style of Syrian and Egyptian architecture and can house about 1,500 worshipers. This mosque stands as an example for the Open Doors Open Mind program and offers a guided tour that goes over the fundamentals of Islam, including the five pillars, and hopes to build cultural awareness, understanding, and tolerance between different nationalities and cultures from around the world. It's a very beautiful mosque and something I would definitely recommend you visit if you have the time. Later that afternoon, I went to the GitHub and checked out some very interesting cars that were showcased outside. Well, it's uh, day seven here in Dubai. I uh, got the evening off, decided to uh, come down on a Friday night and check out some parts of old Dubai. I've been down here before, but I didn't really get a big chance to check it out. So I wanted to come check out the night markets and the bazaars and uh, just get a taste for some of the old city, which I think is a lot more fun than the new city. So let's go check it out. Dubai Waterfront is a wonderful cultural heritage site and is a great way to see what Dubai looked like in antiquity. Plus, it's also just a beautiful walk along the water. Along the way, there's a really cool exhibit of some of the ancient boats 
that have navigated these waters for centuries. And the remains of the ancient Dubai wall that provided protection to the people of the city still exists and extends into this small neighborhood. At one point I came across a series of doors which were hundreds of years old and these wooden works of art were some of the original exterior doorways that lined the entrances of houses in this old neighborhood. Later on, I walked by the Dubai Fort, which I had thankfully seen in a previous visit to Dubai as it was currently closed due to COVID restrictions. But this fort is a great historical tour, showcasing a lot of the ancient military hardware, cannons, guns, and what life was like living in a fort hundreds of years ago. Along the waterfront, there's also lots of boats for sightseeing or water taxis to get back and forth from one side to the other. At night, this place really comes alive, and the bazaars here are a great place to do some shopping for souvenirs, clothes, spices, and more. After leaving the Dubai waterfront, I headed over to a friend's apartment, which has spectacular views of downtown Dubai and the Burj Khalifa. We sat around his apartment, had some dinner, and enjoyed listening to him sing. He's a wonderful up-and-coming artist here in Dubai, and hopefully one day you'll get a chance to see him performing live on stage at a, at a concert in your city or town. Coming up next, I head to Santa Monica, California, 
where I visit the famous Santa Monica Pier, peruse my first legalized cannabis shop, and get VIP tickets to the Asian Film Festival Awards Gala at the famous Sabin Theater in downtown Los Angeles. Thank you so much for sticking around to the end of this video. We really appreciate your time. Thanks again for watching, and if you like this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment on the video so we can talk with you directly. These are fast, fun, and easy ways for you to support what we do. Thanks again, and we'll see you next week.